like it's a laid back atmosphere and super family friendly. So we're gonna have opportunities, fun things for kids to do as well. So don't feel like, oh, I'm bringing, I'm coming with my family. I don't know if that's the right vibe for us. It is, please, it is. please come. Today, I have one of my favorite people joining me, Heather Hawkins. Hi, yes. guys. <laughs> um, but Heather and I, go figure, we are colleagues, we work together, mm -hmm. um, but your role is the Senior Director of Stewardship and Executive Support? Yes, ma'am. So tell me a little bit about that. I help plan our events, so things like Hawks and Highways in the Summer, um, Rock Chalk Forever, the Fred Ellsworth Medallion Award Dinner, um, and then tailgates as well. So a lot of being out in the community with our Jayhawks and getting to know them and getting to know our donors that do a lot for us financially Absolutely. and making sure they're just in the loop with all the great things that k is accomplishing to make this university and our state a um, better place. Yeah. So speaking of a little bit of like what you do in your role um, and how it connects to the community and also just gives back specifically to the KU community, you mentioned tailgates. Yeah. So I know that's a big portion yeah. and football season is approaching yes. us. So are there tailgate opportunities that we should be looking out for? Yes, so we're so excited to announce that the Jayhawk Welcome Center is gonna be open for this football season. So we have not been able to host tailgates in our building since Ooh. 2019. <laughs> so we're so excited to be back because we know how hard our football program has worked and they deserve to be supported a thousand percent. So we're so excited to kind of be a part of that game day on the hill and in this town to really show the Jayhawks how we support them and we love them and we are putting them on. Absolutely, and um, I know that to me, uh, tailgates um, not only are supporting our football mm -hmm. team, but it's bringing together all of our Jayhawks, all these different stakeholders yes. that you get to work with to just celebrate that pride yeah. of being KJ Hop. And so when thinking about improvements for our tailgates, yeah. what are some, um, I would say, new initiatives or um, things that people can expect to come from our tailgates yeah. this year? Absolutely. So our building is going to be open to everybody, whether you're a donor, whether you're a member, whether you're a fan, whether you're just somebody that's walking across campus on game day and you're like, what's happening there? Everybody is welcome. Everybody's welcome. Everybody's welcome. And you know, part of the great thing about the Jayhawk Welcome Center is that you know it hits kids when they're students and high school students trying to decide if they're going to come to KU all the way to when they're alums. So we want families to come. Bring your little kids. Let them fall in love with this place like I did yeah. when I was little, you know. Or if you're a student, you're more than welcome. Like, come. Bring yes, your friends. temperature controlled atmosphere, clean bathrooms. Like, <laughs> it's going to be and we're going to make it fun. I always ask every driving with Jayhawk um, guest one question, and it's okay. a fun one. So it is, you know, if you could describe your KU experience, your journey, um, in one song, you have to pick one song, hmm. what would it be and why? I would actually Ooh. say probably Miss Independent by Kelly Clarkson. Ooh. Because this place, when I came here, from a small town, never having really been away from my parents for any length of time or my hometown for any length of time mm -hmm. and didn't know anybody when I came here. So coming was a brand new adventure and this place taught me what I'm capable of, what I, the kind of person I wanted to be, you know, the impact I wanted to make on the world. I met my husband here. Like, so this place just, who I am now is equal parts what my parents did and this place, you know? So that taught me about independent and really helped me into the woman I am now, you know? 